There's always that one person that has to poop on everybody's parade. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and cats. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time line. Bumble's out, toys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Because life's a little better when you ask a Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you ask a Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you ask a Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell along, we hunt together. Yes. Funkoween Day 2! Pooping on Everybody's Parade Edition! Wait, who's doing what? Well, I went and collected comments today directly from Funko social media, like on their Instagram, and I found on every single announcement there was at least one negative comment. I think except for one. Was it the Gasocast calling each pop trash? No, no, no! We had nothing to do with this, but I thought it was funny that people had to complain literally about everything. Funko Collectors are probably the biggest complainers of anybody I've ever met. Not only was it Funko Ween Day 2, it was also the first Funko shop drop in a long time. Yeah, it was a shop drop. Funko didn't announce it. It was f***ing weird. But you wouldn't believe what announcement today got the most amount of comments and likes. Was it anime? Anime! It's Funko Ween, but we need anime! What's an announcement without anime? It's poop, that's right! Anime! 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 So a lot of people have been saying this Funko Ween has been really f***ing boring. I actually liked a couple of things that popped up yesterday. Not much for me today, but Heather, what was excitable to you today? I would say the thing that I liked most was probably the villain's train. The train? I'm surprised you really liked that thing? No, I'm just kidding. Anime! Anime! Okay, for real though, I'm just kidding. Anime, yes, the villain train. Did you see the evil queen on the poison apple? I did. What? Nah, I'm not, I can't high five her. No, I, I just don't feel comfortable. Poison apple. I, I don't. Poison know. apple. Ho hold on. But today it was abundantly clear that Funko wants to do blacklight. Blacklight. It's the end thing. Holy sh. They're beating a dead horse. Remember when people said black lights a new chrome and we said that it's not? But then they put out like 25 f***ing Nightmare Before Christmas black lights. I wish they would slow down and make them only Target exclusives, but now they're just opening the floodgates and they're just f***ing everywhere. Cool looking, I'm not denying that. If you like Nightmare Before Christmas, today is your day. Did you see all the f***ing Nightmare Before Christmas sh I did. We're going to go over each and every post that Funko posted today, and I'm going to give you the one negative comment that I found worthy for this video. We're going to call it the One Negative Comment Showdown! I'm not f***ing doing this, Chris, so in order for this video to continue, you need to just not. So the first post was a bunch of black light, Nightmare Before Christmas, Funko Pops, and although a lot of haters were on this post, I actually like these. And I think the Oogie Boogie's badass. Yeah, the Oogie Boogie's great, Mayor's fantastic, Sally's great, Zero and Jack look like they've been pissed on, but it's cool. Pee Pee Pops. You know, some people really enjoy getting Whoa, you can't say that on the channel, Heather. You yes, can't. I can. No, you can't. It's a thing. There's a black light advent calendar for Halloween. Yes, it is Nightmare Before Christmas. It's 13 days of Funkoween, baby. Yeah, this is stupid. Now, I wouldn't display the, the advent calendar in my collection, but for those who do, that art is awesome. All right, are you ready for the one negative comment that I pulled from this particular post? Yes. At least change the mold instead of reusing them and repainting them. Seems your design team is getting lazier and lazier. Okay, you dumb f Whoa. I bet you go to the grocery store and you clip your little f 
coupons for your salads or your eggs or whatever. Funko's just trying to save money with reusing the same mold because those cost hundreds and thousands of dollars. So while you're busy saving your 55 cents off your two bananas, let Funko do what they want to do. Yeah, they have to repurpose molds to maximize the amount of money that they get out of those molds so they can make new molds. That's how it works. And if you buy enough of the same mold over and over and over and over and over again, then maybe we'll get a new mold in the future. We never asked for a PP Jack Skellington. Yeah, I didn't ask for that. Like, they could have made him pink. What about orange? Well, speaking of an orange head, Heather, on the next post by Funko, there's a Jack Skellington with an orange head dressed as Santa Claus. Whose beard has been pee-peed on. He's been pee-peed on the head and beard. So that doesn't count. Even though the head is orange, there's PP on him. Okay, the shirt's cool. But he's also been PP'd on the shirt. He has been, but I'll let it slide because Oogie Boogie is in the moon. Is this the very first art series Blacklight? As far as I know, yes. I want to know why they're making so many damn Jack Skellingtons. Why not the other characters in Blacklight? We totally deserve some of the more background characters because this movie is one of the most well-known movies of all time. Heather, if you didn't like the single-packed Nightmare Before Christmas Blacklight Fungo Pops, you might like this five-pack coming from Walmart! Yeah, I wouldn't buy the five-pack because I don't want to PP Zero and Jack. Zero is soaked in piss. That is one pissed off Zero. You know what my mom used to say? It's better to be pissed off than pissed on. Yeah, well, unfortunately, Zero got pissed on. Oh my god, Heather, it's your favorite stuffed plushies and also some keychains because you love the keychains. I do love the keychains. I would totally get the Sally one. Plushies? They at least made Zero orange here. Why couldn't they have made him orange in the other versions? Instead, he looks like a pissed off pound puppy. I just want to know why why Jack's a little thick. Looking at it though, skinny Jack would look ridiculous because obviously with the plushies, the head is huge oh, and the body's yeah. really small. So he'd have this head that's like this big and then this little stick body. Then Heather, there's jumbo sized pops. We have Oogie Boogie and then we have Jack Skellington and he comes with the pissed on Zero. They're both pissy. It's the pissy two-pack. Oogie Boogie is going to be on Funko.com. That means it's going to be $50 since they overprice everything on their own website. Negative comment from this post, Heather? I like black light, but don't get me wrong here. Black light is becoming the new chrome. I sort of just said that. You already said that, yeah. And when you were saying it, I thought, you're ruining my comment. No, that comment was shitty on its own. And then they hit us with a bunch of sodas, black light sodas, and these are all common, believe it or not. All of them, common. And you can go and buy them right now on poppinofftoys.com. As of this recording, all sold out besides Sally, which is interesting because, in my opinion, with the exception of Oogie Boogie, she's the coolest one. I like the mayor, though. I like that they have a different face for him, where the others are just different colorways, it looks like. No, no, they no, have, a they have different mold things. For yeah. Oogie Boogie isn't. He's just different colors. And so is Jack. But it's interesting. They actually made these commons. This is the first time we've gotten black light sodas that are commons, other than Chase's being the black light. You know what they could have done is added two more characters and made him a cooler. You could have taken the Hot Topic exclusive Jack and made him part of the six pack. Two Jacks and one cooler. Hey, that sounds like a title to an adult film. Jack is without zero. They could have done zero as his own and Dr. Finkelstein. All right, somebody commented, someone is gonna be sacked. Why didn't they make one more and make it a six pack cooler can set? It's like, we are so negative on this channel. We know what the comments are already gonna be. It's negative. I'm just thinking of ways for Funko to make more money. You're right. This comment isn't so much negative. It's just the fact that somebody has to post and say, well, it would have been better if you blank. Oh, and guess what, Heather? There's a Jack Skellington from Amazon, and it's like the film cover. A lot of people actually are really starting to dig those. I know. I'm actually really surprised by this because people were loving this, but I did find a comment that was sort of negative, but not really. Come on, Funko. 90% of the people here only want to see anime reveals. I don't want to see anime during funko ween funko ween should be halloween and horror themed they should have an all anime event and just have at it stop putting anime in my halloween <laughs> well i got good news for you the next post was hunter hunter anime! i'm not doing this anymore no, no we have to do it one more time no because 
anime. Oh my god. Okay, yesterday when we glossed over all the anime characters, people actually wanted us to talk about them. They didn't like the fact that we do not like anime. A lot of people were telling me to watch the anime that we glossed over yesterday. I'm Hold not, on, we need to, wa we need to watch I'm it, not, Heather, because I'm it's a good not. anime and we need to watch it. So, okay, Heather, but guess what? Here are some anime Funko Pops. Guy with Scythe. Girl that looks like a girl. Guy that's hovering off the ground with fire power underneath him. I think that those are fire crystals. Two people play in checkers. And one has a snake's tail. Character sleeping standing up with a cane. Guy with long tail that was in the checkers Funko Pop set. But he has long ears too. Cat girl. Person with red eyes, earring, and a rosary hanging on their fingers. And then there's an exclusive where a guy's charging up with his powers, just like every other anime. Let us know in the comment section down below who is Kite, because everybody was losing their absolute shit over Kite. Prepare yourself for the best comment of the entire day. Actually, I want you to read it. Why? Why the fuck is Pitu a Funko Shop ex a Funko Shoe exclusive? I'm punching my wall. And there's a bunch of angry emojis and cursing emojis. WTF? First Navara, now Pitu? I freaking love these two! Now they're gonna get swiped by scalpers. Oh these God. were the two I wanted now! Oh my God. Now these two people are speaking like us, Heather. Stop with the anime, it's not even Halloween. Funko Ween is the new anime ween. Horror, please. And then we have a Frankenstein Universal Monster from Walgreens, that's Black Light. Okay. And then somebody commented, do you not think it's getting a bit overkill at this point with all the blacklight stuff? It was a fun little thing at first, but I feel like it's gone a bit too far now. I mean, there are so many. Isn't SDCC like fun day is going to be blacklight? Oh, yeah. This year? Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. know that person's still going to go after that box if they have it. And then there's a Dustin from the new season of Stranger Things. Okay. And then there's a Spider-Man Noir. Drop the ball, should have been Ghostface. Hopefully Michael Myers' black light is shown tomorrow. And then the best drop of the day, in my opinion, Heather, it's Slimer, the Slimer Soda, with a glow-in-the-dark chase. Did you notice he's holding a hot dog? Mm -hmm. Out of all the things that I collected, this had the most amount of comments that were positive. Guess what, listen to this. Yes, please, slimy boy heart emoji. Oh my God, I need this. Oh my God, I need this. Okay. Ursula Soda. Love her. And there was a comment that was positive also saying, Yes, queen. And then there's the Greek Gorlu. And I don't know much about this. I think it was a toy from like the 70s. And somebody commented, Lucifer Pops, please. With a smile emoji and then some that's praise not, hands. That's not a smile. That's what a that? cringe. Oh, a cringe. Oh. People are using that in our comment section all the time. Is that what they mean? The next announcements were bullshit because these were actually announced last year and they were delayed. So oh. they're re-announcing them. So it's a cheap move. So we have a bunch of villains and they all look okay. I'm not crazy about many of these. And then there's a bunch of mystery minis, which I don't care about those at all. And then the plushies I don't care about. They're we they're the weird ones with no legs. Then there's a Maleficent that's from Target. It's, it looks like it's, is that a diamond? Yeah, it's a diamond edition. The shirt's really cool though. But then they hit us with some more black lights. What's up? Animes and black lights today, Heather. Anime! Black lights! All right, I'm going to be honest. I like all these black lights. Yeah, Specifically, cool. the Maleficent. I love that Maleficent because I like she has a little bird. Yeah, it's really cool. I don't really like pissy Captain Hook. Oh my god, is this the jumbo size Funko Pop from Amazon that was never released? Yeah, another re-announcement. This one is badass though. Like I like this one cool. a lot. Yeah. But it's weird that they're reannouncing. Yeah. So this is the common, and then this is the Amazon Glow one. And of course, we have a negative comment. You do the same villains over and over again. There's more villains you've never done. Hopper, Frollo. You're wrong. They have Lady Tremaine here, and that's the only Lady Tremaine Funko Pop that has ever been done. So... And then we have the train of villains, Heather. And I know you want to run a train on this train. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Which one is your favorite part, Heather? Probably between the Captain Hook on the little pirate ship and the Evil Queen on the Poison Apple. Are you kidding me? That Maleficent? Are you kidding me right now? 
If they have a glow exclusive, I would be way more into that. We got a negative comment from these. Slap emoji, slap emoji, slap emoji, slap emoji. I just knocked my contact out, hold on. Why oh why? You didn't slap hard enough. And then they announced a Hades first of six pieces from Hot Topic. And if you're not familiar with these, this is where they make the sets that all connect to one another. So this will be an entire set of villain Funko Pops. And how many does Funko have to make of these sets before people's houses can no longer f store them? We got a negative comment. Where's Jafar? I've been waiting all day, cry emoji. Remember all that time that I spent looking for that Jafar as Genie Chase and I never found it? It was a glow chase. We recently learned that that chase doesn't even f glow. More like Jafart. And what's more Halloween than the Gotham Knights Funko Pops from DC? Is that a serious question? No, it's not a serious question, but there are Gotham Knights Funko Pops from the new video game. Gotham Knights, that's right! We're getting all sorts of characters like Red Hood, Nightwing, also a Black Light Red Hood. Wow, he looks like Deadpool. And how about that 10 inch Nightwing from Walmart? Just what everyone's asked for. Car, let's get some DC Pops. Actually, these are really popular. People are super, super excited about them, but I did collect one sort of negative comment. Ah, yes, Halloween. I'm with you. And then the last thing announced today, of course, was anime. It was Gloomy the Naughty Grizzly. Gloomy Bear was created by an artist in the year 2000. That's when it was debuted. But as of 2021, apparently there's an animated series. If you know who Gloomy Bear is, let us know in the comments, please. But he's really cool. It's a Hot Topic exclusive and there's a flock chase that's black with blood coming out of his mouth and red eyes. There was also a Funko Shop drop today and it was a raptor named Blue. I collected comments. You did? Yep. Go ahead, let's hear them. Quite shocking in the middle of Funko Ween to drop this. I was so sure that with their announcement of additional villains today that they would drop Cruella as a surprise. Ah, uh, that Cruella. People won't want it until it's sold out, lol. Yeah, I feel like that happened That's 100% true. Yeah. It's cool, but the common with her baby is so much better. Really should have been the other way around with this one. I 100% agree. I agree with it also. A lot of the Funko Shop exclusives have sort of turned into common quality. We've talked about this quite a bit. We're getting a lot of really cool sh as commons. It's we are. weird. I know it is really weird. In my opinion, if they would have sold this on Funko Shop, I bet you they would have pulled a stitch on Tricycle and bumped that price up. Yeah. So maybe it's good they didn't do that. If there are any announcements that you were looking for today for Funko Ween, head over to poppinofftoys.com because they have a big selection over there and you don't want to miss out on that. Again, poppinofftoys.com. And let us know what you think about everything we talked about in this video and more in the comment section down below. And before we thank all of our patrons, we want to remind you to head over to patreon.com slash castlecast to find out all the ways you can support this channel and you can support us in really big ways and get some really cool things in return. Head over to patreon.com slash castlecast to find out more. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to Shooting Star 710, Chris Haskell, Sam Studley, Aussie Pop and Paul, Spidey Bob, Iron Mule Pops, Jeremy Davis, Joel Campos, Rob Smith, and Erica Woods. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. You guys rock. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we hunt together. Yes, we'll catch you next time. Bye.